Yeah, get the fuck to the gym, bro. What's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. In this video, I wanna talk about why everyone, and especially every Python developer, needs to get the fuck to the gym. All right, what I wanna talk to you about in this video is I get questions like, how do I deal with anxiety, Kazi? How do I deal with procrastination? No, they don't say that, they say procrastination. And how do I deal with being not productive? Sometimes I'm working and my brain is blank. I get frustrated when I'm coding. The simple answer, okay, and probably what not most of you are gonna fucking like, because uh, most of you are probably like how I used to be, and I hated gym, and I love being behind my computer and doing stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Aaron just raised his hand, but he's actually more jacked than I am. So let's continue with this video. <laughs> yeah, he comes in. Okay, please understand that a lot of these things that happen with developers actually come from having a weak mindset. And this isn't just applicable to their coding and how they get frustrated and not making much progress in coding. This actually has to do with how when they're applying to jobs, after a few declines or people refusing you or not responding to you, this is actually what's gonna break you down a lot of the times too because you're not mentally strong. Most developers aren't. They're really weak, fragile people, okay? Uh, that is what's oftentimes gonna stop you from making the progress and going to where you need to go. I mean, look at how Jack Simple Programmer is and then think about how successful he is, right? Direct correlation. I'm fucking getting there simple programmer John Sonrez, I'm coming for you, bro. What I wanna share with people is the reason why some people are just way more resilient. First of all, read a book called Anti-Fragile. We're gonna pop it up in here. Read a book called Anti-Fragile. This book talks about this concept called being anti-fragile. And what does anti-fragile mean? Let's say we have a box, and in that box we put a glass. Now if we move this box, that glass might actually break. Now let's say we put uh, something else, like a stone. Now if we move it a lot, it might not break. It's kind of weird, right? But, but, it will, but if you use enough force, you can even freaking crack stone, right? You can even break that. But now with anti-fragile, imagine a material like glass and you put it in a box. And then as you start shaking it, it sounds like it's about to break. But then it gets then you, the more you move it, it doesn't break. So you're like, what's going on? And then you shake it more and then it gets harder and it doesn't break. And then it gets even more difficult to break and eventually it turns into just being impossible. And then what you realize is the more you shake it, the stronger it gets. The more you fuck around with this, the tougher it gets, all right? That's how you wanna be. So you wanna be the type of person who, when somebody's like fucking around with you, you're like, you're kind of fucking with them back. And then the more they fuck with you, you fuck with them more back. And then when they get in your face, you're like, fuck you, I'm gonna solve this and I'm gonna fix this. And I have the answer. So what I want you to focus on from all of what I just said is you wanna become anti-fragile. So sometimes what that looks like is artificially doing things that make your life more difficult. So some people have really pampered lives, or even if they don't, if they're being, if they're uh, developers, they're just sitting behind their computer in a very sedentary way, using a chair like this, which is very comfortable. We're sitting usually for eight to 10 hours, 15 hours at a time. Sometimes for me, I'm sitting there like for 18 hours encoding or doing something on my computer or doing something with my YouTube channel or coding, whatever it may be. So just realize that we're spending so much time doing things that are not challenging, that require you to just kind of freaking chill, okay? What does this lead to? This leads to a brain and a body that's really weak. Any adversity it faces, faces it, it, it stops and it fails. We're driven completely by our emotions, right? We're, we do a lot of things on a day-to-day -day basis by our emotions. What we wanna eat is based on our emotions. We're thinking about how it'll make us feel. Who we want to meet with is based on our emotions because we know how that person will make us feel. So when it comes to being a developer, that is also really driven by emotions. So if you're not feeling well, you're probably not gonna perform that well. And if you're feeling down because you got rejected from a particular job, you're also not gonna keep applying. So what you need to do and what has helped me a lot is 
constantly going to the gym. Now, I've been training in boxing. I have been doing kickboxing a little bit, but I've been mostly doing jujitsu as well. So lots of fighting skills and then also strength training like power lifting has helped me a lot mentally, okay? So yes, it has physically helped me, but it has made me a lot more internally confident, which then show, and made me a lot more resilient and my grit is stronger. So then when I'm coding or I'm doing something like making this video, if this video fucks up, I just go again, I, it's easy. And same thing when I'm coding and I mess up, I can just keep going nonstop. And if I start picking up the phone and I'm calling clients, I just keep going. Unlike a lot of you who just fucking give up, a lot of you, what I wanna just say is you are strong in your own ways. But sometimes what happens with a lot of developers is that they go, okay, I, I tried Kazi, but I didn't get a job. I didn't get the freelancing opportunity. This coding stuff doesn't work for me. And then when I actually get on the phone with them or I actually speak with them, DM them one-on-one, -on -one, what I usually find out is they either apply to two or three or four places max, and then they might have stopped. Even if they applied to 20 places and they stopped, that's failure in my book, okay? They should not stop. Or maybe they got failed or kicked out from one interview, right? Maybe they tried one or two interviews, didn't work, they just gave up. That resilience is the difference between you landing a job for 40, 60, 80, $100,000 a year, if not more, versus you staying exactly where you are. It's the difference between you becoming a remote developer and traveling wherever the fuck you want versus staying exactly where you're at. This is the difference between you being able to provide for your family and your girlfriend versus being a fucking loser, okay? So it's a very simple decision that you can make. You can either get stronger and become more anti-fragile or you can stay weak and have a weak mind which will lead to weak results and a weak life. And weakness is actually a very unattractive characteristic. The point of this video is probably this week you should get a membership to a freaking gym around you. Okay, start with a simple step or you can start with something if that's too much commitment for you. You can literally, right after watching this video, just go for a walk, okay? Something simple or you can do, do, you can do five push-ups. Something that gets you more in your body. I promise you, it, this is the thing, the thing that will help you code better, that'll help you think more effectively. Let me put it like this. Sometimes I spend eight hours coding and I don't exercise, I eat poorly and my effectiveness in coding is shit. I can't even make like an app. My brain is blanking out a lot. My effectiveness and my efficiency is so poor. Sometimes I'll lift for two hours, then I'll spend some time eating, then I'll hang out with somebody I really love. I'll come back and code for two hours and I'll actually complete that app. So I will basically shit on eight hours of results, uh, sorry, eight hours of work with only two hours of really effective work. And that those are the types of things that being able to work out actually allow me to do and it personally makes me more effective. So what I would suggest for you is give that a try. All right, what I want you to do now at this point of the video is drop in the comments below. What is the one thing you will commit to doing right after watching this video? I want you to take an action step right after watching this video because otherwise this video is completely useless and you have just wasted the last nine or 10 minutes, however long this video is, by not taking any action right now. So if you watch this, please, it would be amazing and it would be a privilege for me and, um, and I would love it if you just took some amount of action. And I really do care if you drop it in the comments below, I promise I will actually reply back, all right? The real me. So what I want you to do is take a, commit to taking action step and drop it in the comments below. What's one thing you're gonna do right after you stop this video? It could be doing two push-ups. It could be doing five push-ups. It could be like, I'm gonna take a walk outside my apartment or my house and just come back in or maybe you will commit to actually getting even a $10 membership at your gym or getting a one day $10 pass at the Gold's Gym near you. Whatever it may be, what is the one thing you commit to doing right now? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to come and uh, chat with you in the comments. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love your beautiful face and this is Kazi. As always, I'll see you in the next video.
down. 